Good morning. If you're watching this, this is a day in the life of a Kenyan too. Um, yesterday was my day where I showed you where I go to work and all that other stuff. And today is I'm off today, but I'll have school. So it's right now it is 7 17 a.m. and I will be getting getting ready to eat some breakfast and then head over to school. And then um, yes, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing today. I have a meeting with a friend, uh, two friends actually, and then after that, might meet up with my brother, and come back home, and then later on have a leaders club meeting at the YMCA. So hopefully I'll take you guys there. But before that, I'm going to show you what I do for breakfast. All right, this is what I'm going to be doing for breakfast. Um, I've been doing this. I found this recipe at the Y, surprisingly, and it was just on a wall one day, and I tried it. And after that, I've been hooked forever. So the recipe consists of very easy to make, not that it's very inexpensive. Um, oatmeal, cinnamon, everything is open just so it's easier. Cinnamon, uh, jelly, I use grape jelly, peanut butter, um, and then some orange juice to wash it down. I already took my multivitamins, my alpha brain, and then I'm also about to take one fish oil. I'm gonna take this fish oil um, with half a cup of orange juice. Um, one reason to take fish oil or multivitamins is because there's some vitamins that your body does not naturally produce. So to compensate with it, you take multivitamins to help you so you're not. So that's why some people end up being sick and they're just not feeling up to par. And then fish oil also increases, it has a lot of health benefits with your heart, brain, eyes, joint skin etc so it's always going to take one every day and then I never skip breakfast um, I don't know how some people do it breakfast is your most important meal and that's where I try to fit I don't track my calories right now I'll probably end up doing that later on in another video but my main most of my calories come from breakfast so you let me take this and after that I'll show you guys how to make that let's go ahead and start making this I have to leave I usually try to leave before they're at 7.30 because of traffic, so I've already started my car. Um, the one on the second one, so I've already started it so it warms up. Okay, so, and I've done this so much so I know this equals one first ingredient, one cup of oats, it should be right there, and then I do that. Um, Gonna put water. I don't like to draw. I don't like to draw mine in water. I like to put it right, right about there. Um, let's do this. Move that. Move that. Open this. Gonna put this in here for about three minutes. And also make sure to watch it because it might overflow. And that happens. That always happens to me when I'm not paying attention. So three minutes. Boop. And yep. So. Alright guys, actually, while that's in there, I'm going to show you what I'm going to make for Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays. These are my busy days, so I can't, I don't like coming back and forth at home. And I don't want to go to get somewhere to eat, saving money, 
uh, outside and also I can just make something at home so um, I'm gonna make a sandwich for after I work out with my so I'm gonna eat this with my protein powder which I forgot to put it in there so I need to remember that um, this are two slices of sunbeam I'm not I don't like white bread but that's on that's what we have in the house mayonnaise <coughs> um, reduced fat cheese by Sargento um, black horse ham and what else hard salami so let me go and make this while that is finishing And what I tell you here. Overfilled. God. By the way, I'm doing one slice black forced ham, one piece of salami. Piece of this cheese, and then um, oh, actually, what I'll do is give me one second. All right, I'm back. Actually, I'm gonna add on some French um, classic yellow mustard spicy. Um, my stepdad thought he had bought the regular mustard, but he, he just picked it up, and so it was a spicy mustard. Serving size is one tablespoon, so just kind of like one pass. That's what I call it. Uh, calories five five calories so yeah and here we go Whoop. hold on Whoop. all right close that boom take this fold it over boom sandwich roll that like that boom okay so some some saran wrap wrap that up boom and there you go it's a sandwich I'm also talking, I'm not talking that loud because upstairs my mom and my dad, my, my mom and my stepdad are still sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. Like I was saying, make sure you wash the oatmeal so this doesn't happen. But, so let me clean that up real quick and then show you with that. So, give me one second. So now that we're done with that mess, we're going to go back to the oatmeal. Um, let me put that. So the oatmeal is going to consist one tablespoon. Actually, you know what? Let's shake that up. Let's add in a little more. So about one and a half tablespoons of jelly. And hold on. About one tablespoon of peanut butter. Shake that in there. Get your cinnamon. Put that in there. And then, so I'm going to mix that up eat drink really fast before I have to leave I'll leave the uh, what is it called recipe and ingredients how to make that in the description for you guys so you can try it out awesome all right so I have my lunch I'm not lunchy I guess lunch what is up people um I'm out of school so happy um so I only have like a month left of school and then after that we finish the semester which I'm happy because I'll be able to have more free time to be able to do more stuff. So I just stopped by the gas station. Look at this, this cool American flag painting. But um, so right now I'm in the car. I bought two bananas. I'm about to eat one before I go work out. And then gum as well. I keep gum with me in my car a lot. I have a storage thing right there. I need to throw that one, that's an old one. But I keep gum with me all the time just to make sure um, my pet peeves is people who don't have good breath and sometimes it's because when I was younger I used to have really bad breath but so that's why I always make sure to do that and yeah so I'll be on the way to the gym and then I'll show you guys a couple clips of me in the gym um, and after that we'll go from there just got to the gym uh, I was sipping on C4 pre-workout and this cool bodybuilding little shaker that I got for free I haven't ordered anything from bodybuilding in a long time uh, and they've been emailing me I needed to get something from there um, so right if I get out go in change I'll show you a little bit inside um, yeah today I'll be doing chest 
uh, yeah, chest, chest, and calves, and abs, so chest, calves, abs, chest, calves, abs. So today I was doing chest and before this I had warmed up with two sets of push-ups and I did 12 reps. Um, for bench I had two, a 45 on each side. This clip I only did 9 reps uh, but then I ended up doing 12 reps for 3 sets. And just always make sure you warm up so you don't pull a muscle and hurt yourself and get injured because then once you're injured it's no gains right there. And on my third set actually it was my fourth set I decided to kind of push myself like why not because the camera's on and I did 185 for just one rep because I haven't really gotten to max out uh, or push any new PRs because there was a point I was kind of injured and just being a little baby about it so today I said why not let's do it and I did it next exercise I did cable crossovers same thing three sets of 12 for this whole workout most of them will be three sets of 12 and i see as i focus on just keeping tension on your muscles and also you'll see on the last uh rep i'll squeeze and hold it just make sure you keep on squeezing squeeze squeeze after the cable crossovers, I was supersetting them with inverted dumbbell presses. And there's a cool variation I saw from Brandon Michael Fit from Shreds. And this variation, let me tell you, oh man, oh man, this boy, ooh, this thing will give you some chest, boy. And so this is what I f did that for three sets of 12. I need to work on my form because I don't really do inverted dumbbell presses like that. After the inverted dumbbell presses, I headed over to another cable machine and started doing cable flies on there. Uh, I use a lot of cable machines because I just like how you can squeeze and control it. I also did 9 reps again in the beginning and ended up realizing and did an another additional set to make sure it's 12. So sorry about that. <laughs> After the cable flies, I went back to the same cable machine and ended up doing this time decline cable crossovers and these are really good because they get to hit these will make your definition for your pecs and it's just tips these little tips and strategies i've just learned from watching other people again three sets of 12 on that then super set with uh bench press but dumbbell bench press by the way i used 30 pounds uh for this and the incline it's good that i record myself because i learned that there's some stuff that I'm not doing all the reps. I'm just doing part, like I'm going on nine reps or 10 reps. So this is good. I've been able to see that I haven't been completing my reps and my sets. So that's something I'm definitely gonna clean up on. Last but not least, ended up doing some calf raises, seated calf raises with 25 pounds. So 50 pounds. Um, I've kind of messed up my leg the day before and so that's why I just do want to go that heavier. Um, so I just did three sets of 15 on this. And just make sure when you go up, squeeze to get that really good tension. It's going to get the definition. So I'm out of the gym now. Um, I did, I said I was going to do chest, calves, and abs. But, um, oh, let me switch hands. Um, I don't know, you guys are probably gonna say something about that, but um, anyways, only did chest and calves today. Um, it was pretty cool because I've never filmed myself working out, so I got to see like how I do stuff, which I see my form is pretty good, except for some new exercise that I've tried. So I hope you guys like that. I push myself a lot, and right now I'm about to head to Keyboys for that meeting. Uh, Chris wasn't able to come, so it'll just be me and Keyboy, and we're gonna I'll explain more when I get there. So right now I am eating a banana the second the, the second banana that I got today from the gas station and um, I'm about to have that muscle milk right there the muscle milk right here 
chocolate protein. Um, I forgot my protein at home, so I got this instead. And this has 320 calories for the whole bottle, 34 uh, grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 360 grams of sodium, and 170 grams, 170 milligrams of potassium and 13 carbohydrates. So um, I'm gonna need to download my fitness pal so I can track better but right now I kind of know how to guesstimate but that's still not good the last meal that I had was that banana but breakfast I had the oatmeal and the peanut butter so that was about 300 calories um, this that that protein shake my sandwich and the banana will probably be about 500 so that's about a little bit quarter of my calories I try to eat 3,000 3,500 calories per day depending on training days or what I'm working um, because my body type is an ectomorph so I have to I'm a hard gainer so I have to eat more um, but yeah so we'll be heading out to Keyways and I'll show you where yeah I'll show you where he is so just got two Keyways that's Keyway right there by the way I started like vlogging a couple days ago yeah. so What's up, man? How you been, man? Good, 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 good. All right, everybody. I am here at Keyboy's house. Yeah. So, thanks for letting me come in. No just chilling. We just chopped it up a bunch. Chris couldn't make it, but um, so we talked about with his team, Team Nutso and Autosai. The they're gonna be releasing some really sick stuff soon. So stay tuned. I'll put his Instagram in the description. Team Nutso's Instagram, and where you can find some of their stuff. But before we leave, I wanted to ask Keyboy uh, to drop some knowledge. What do you think, what, do you, um, what would you like to tell people who are, they have dreams or goals that they want to chase, but they don't have a certain drive. What do you think can help them? I think the most important thing is no one is going to do things for you mm -hmm. to say that. Your dreams are your dreams, and you can die in the grave, and those dreams die with you. There's so there's so many dreams that are in the grave right now, and people died with them. Uh huh. So you need to move as if today is the last day that you have to live. Take what you got, respect it, run with it, and do good things. You could do good things. Mm -hmm. You could do great things. So that's some good advice, I think. I watch motivational videos, and there's one where this guy said. You know where the where's the richest place in the whole world? It's not China, it's not Europe, it's the graveyard. Mm. Because the graveyard is where you see unmade inventions, ideas that went away with people who never either produced them or went after them. So if you have a dream or a goal, chase it. Go after it with 100% energy. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, man. Yeah. You have to. You have to. Because if you don't, why is gonna do it for you? Why is gonna do it for you? You heard from it? That's Keyboy. Yeah. I'll put his. Uh, what's your Instagram, by the way? Even My I'll Instagram put it is Keyboy. Mm -hmm. Keyboy. So K I B W E K E Y B W A Y. That is my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Follow me. That's where I'm at. That's where he's at. Got some good stuff for you there too. Trick rock, guitar, poetry, does it all. I am back in my house now. Um, when Keyboy's. You saw Tuesday, today was a busy day, kind of had a lot of stuff to do. Um, right now I'm about to get ready to go to the YMCA for a leaders club meeting. Um, and then that will be from about like, I leave at 5 because of traffic. Actually I need to leave right now. Traffic is crazy. So I'll be in traffic probably for at least 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get there. The meeting is from 6.30 to 7.30. I might bring my camera with me, show you guys a little bit about it. I'll probably show you dinner when I come back. But right now I just had... Alpha brain, some other stuff for the brain. Um, um, packet of fruit snacks, as usual. Uh, water bottle with me. And then, Day in the Life of a Kenyan. Um, episode 1 is rendering right now. It's taking forever. And then I need to update my calendar and the quote. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, Leaders Club. After that dinner. Then back here wrap up the day then yeah this was the traffic i was talking about oh my gosh uh, I don't know. I don't know.
we stuck here for like 20 minutes but I guess it's not that bad because I've seen videos of people in like California and they're in there for like an hour no 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 like 45 minutes and that's just crazy so but still on the way on the way to leaders club on the way to leaders club I'm at the YMCA right now we just got done with the leaders club um, I did not film during leaders club because one I'm not gonna film kids because they're all middle schoolers and and that's creepy that's Kate by the way where's Kate where's Kate Kate is there you go anyways that's Kate so right now they're pulling up the wall and to summarize the Leaders Club, it's basically a, a club that brings you out of your eggshell so you're not an awkward kid. I'm gonna head to Food Lion after this. I might get some oatmeal because I really want some oatmeal and some peanut butter, some it's more really peanut butter. I'm at Food Lion right now, I'm about to go get some oatmeal and some other groceries. Look at all this sausage. Good boy. Oatmeal, regular oatmeal. And got my peanut butter. So, got my peanut butter. And I'm about to go back home. I got new more peanut butter and oatmeal just because it was going to run out. And I used so much just, just to be nice about mom so I don't use all of it. So, on the way back home. Alright guys. Um, back again from today. You guys saw what I did today. Um, I, I just came from Food Lion three hours ago, actually. I didn't film dinner because I came up here to do some stuff. Um, so red, the video should be almost done. So if you're watching this right now, episode one of A Day in the Life of a Kenyan should be up on my channel. Um, I'm just refining some stuff on my channel so it can be good. But today I went, I came from Food Lion, got oatmeal and my own peanut butter just to have it in my room. Um, and then after that, I'm filming this, so just kind of, I'm going to be, try to do every video, like a recap of what I did today. So today was school, as you saw, and then gym, after the gym, went to Keyboy's house, apartment, pretty awesome, talked about a lot of stuff, um, and then after that, drove home for a little bit, for like 10 minutes, no, drove home. Stayed at home for like 10 minutes, got ready for Leaders Club, went to Leaders Club, did that, and then again, Food Lion. So now I'm back here, and right now I'm just going to wrap up my night. It is 10.35 p.m., so I'm going to wrap up by uploading this video, making sure my channel is looking good, since this is what I'm going to be doing. And so my goal is, like I said in the other video, to be uploading two videos a week. So if that's either a day in the life of a Kenyan or other stuff, because I wrote down in my phone some notes and there's gonna be, I have some pretty cool stuff that's gonna come soon. Um, so you'll be able to see like more about me, just learn more about myself since this is a new learning experience. And I also feel myself in the gym, forgot about that. So you should have already seen that today. And that was awesome because I was pushing myself and I just kept on pushing myself and pushing myself because I was filming and just, it's it was kind of cool because, and I saw the camera there, and I'm like, I have to go hard. But let me start rambling. So yep, this is Tuesdays. They're really busy. Um, so I'll see you guys either next week or maybe this week if I do like a shake video or something random. So you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It helps me out. Um, even people who are watching this, if people be watching this, it's awesome because I'm just doing this video. It's just to. Uh, how to show people it's possible you can do anything honestly so yeah you guys have a great day great night if it's a night there and yeah